Grand Bazaar Istanbul. Grand Bazaar is the most popular shopping place in Istanbul. Istanbul actually has the largest shopping malls in Europe. However, shopping in the Grand Bazaar, a 500-year-old historical building, is a different experience. In this video, you will find many tips about the Grand Bazaar. If you wish, let's start with how to get to the Grand Bazaar. Because the bazaar has dozens of entrances and it is important from which door you enter the building to find direction. By the way, if you want to explore the Grand Bazaar with a local guide, you can book one of the best shopping tours in Istanbul. So you can get local tips about the Grand Bazaar, which is quite complicated for first-timers. How to go to Grand Bazaar? You can follow two ways to go from Sultan Ahmet to the Grand Bazaar. The first of these is to pass through Nuru Osmaniye Street, which is a street parallel to the tramway. This street is a pleasant walking path full of stylish shops and cafes. You will see mainly carpet and jewelry shops on Nuru Osmaniye Street. There are also some Turkish delight and souvenir shops. This street is attractive enough to make you shop before you even go to the Grand Bazaar. At the end of Nuru Osmaniye Street is the Nuru Osmaniye Mosque, which was built in the 18th century. This mosque is seen in the picture above. When you pass through the courtyard of this beautiful mosque, you enter Grand Bazaar through gate number 1. The second way is to follow the tramway, Devanyolu Street, and walk until Bayazit Square. When you arrive in Bayazit tram station, you can enter the Grand Bazaar through gate number 7. The Bayezid Mosque from the 15th century is also here. Grand Bazaar Directions Map As the Grand Bazaar consists of 67 streets and 3,000 shops, it can be difficult to find directions for first-timers. You can find many useful maps like this in the article named Istanbul Tourist Maps. Grand Bazaar Shopping Tips, Updated 2023 As a local tour guide, I will try to give you useful shopping tips about the Grand Bazaar in this article. In the lines below, you can find answers to the most frequently asked questions about the Grand Bazaar. Should I make a bargain in Grand Bazaar? Definitely yes. Otherwise you will get the product you want to buy at the highest possible price. There is a traditional way of shopping in the Grand Bazaar and bargaining is customary. While you are walking through the labyrinth-like streets, it is inevitable to come across enthusiastic vendors trying to sell you something and the only way to buy their products in an affordable way is to bargain with them. By bargaining in the Grand Bazaar, you can buy a single product at a discount of around 10% to 20%. On the other hand, if you buy the same product in large quantities, the discount rate will increase. In addition, if you are buying expensive products such as handmade Turkish rugs or original Iznik tiles, you can bargain and reduce the price of that product between 20% and 40%. It should also be added that the prices are fixed when shopping in districts of Istanbul outside the historical peninsula. Bargaining is not welcome in Istanbul's shopping malls and modern districts. Do local people shop in Grand Bazaar? Because Istanbul has a lot of modern shopping malls which can satisfy all the needs thanks to the national and international brands inside them. Local folks see Grand Bazaar as a huge jeweler and Bazaar is the heart of gold market. One can also find various golden necklaces, bracelets, rings made by the most experienced craftsmen. The price for milled gold depends on the quality of workmanship. During the Ottoman Empire, the Grand Bazaar was a place where locals could find the most variety of products. However, there are many options for shopping in Istanbul today, so the Grand Bazaar is considered a touristic and expensive place. Things to buy from Grand Bazaar There are many things related to Oriental culture among the things to buy in the Grand Bazaar. Silk carpets and Iznik tiles that used to adorn Ottoman palaces are at the top of the list. On the other hand, you can find souvenirs for every budget. Jewelry Jewelry is one of the major things that can be bought in the Grand Bazaar. There are dozens of jewelry shops on Kalpak Silabasi Jadesi, which is the main street I described at the beginning of the article. There are jewelry shops that make boutique designs in the bazaar and they are all very good at their jobs. Istanbulites also come to the Grand Bazaar to buy gold or jewelry. For this reason, you can be sure that it is real when purchasing jewelry. Turkish carpets Turkish carpets have been sold in the Grand Bazaar for centuries. For this reason, there are many families that have been in carpet business for several generations. You can find handmade Turkish carpets in these shops. However, buying a Turkish rug is a difficult task even for locals. Before buying, you can visit places such as the Turkish and Islamic Arts Museum and the Istanbul Carpet Museum to learn about the history of Turkish carpets. Of course, 
Most of the carpet shops in Istanbul give you a presentation about Turkish carpets. However, I still recommend that you learn about the types of carpets in advance. It is okay to have enough knowledge to distinguish between classical carpets and nomadic carpets. If you need help on this subject, you can find it in the article named Where to Buy Turkish Carpets in Istanbul. From this content, you can have general information about carpet shopping in Istanbul. Iznik Tiles Iznik Tiles represented the pinnacle of Ottoman pottery. Especially in the 16th century, which was the peak of the empire, Turkish tiles also experienced the golden period. The best examples of Iznik tiles can be seen in places such as the Blue Mosque, Rustam Pasha Mosque and Sokolu Mehmed Pasha Mosque built during this period. Also, while visiting Topkapi Palace, you can see excellent tiles in the sections like Imperial Council and Harim Rooms. You can also find these tiles, which include blue, green and red tones, in the bazaar. Scarves Scarves are among the top clothing items that women can buy in Istanbul. You can find dozens of shops selling scarves and shawls in the bazaar. While some of these shawls are made in Turkey, others are imported from countries such as Pakistan and India. Since Turkish women also love scarves, thousands of different scarves can be found here. There are so many shops selling scarves in the Grand Bazaar that you cannot visit all of them even if you wander all day. Lanterns Lanterns adorn every street of the Grand Bazaar with their colorful glasses. You can see dozens of color combinations of Turkish lamps, which attract attention with their pastel colors. Shops selling lanterns decorated with colored glass offer the opportunity to take wonderful pictures for travelers wandering the streets of the bazaar. For this reason, these lamps are always present in the most beautiful photos of the bazaar. Towels Towels are one of the most colorful items of the Grand Bazaar. You can buy loincloths, bathrobes or cotton towels used in Turkish baths at the bazaar. These bath equipments are generally of high quality and durable. Turkish towels are also one of the most functional souvenirs to buy in Istanbul. You can use these products for many years instead of ornamental objects that will stand on one side. Kaftans Kaftans had a very significant place in Ottoman history. The kaftans, which were the clothes of the sultans, had an important place in the classical period Ottoman art. The kaftans would have embroideries and even precious stones. Today, the centuries-old kaftans worn by the sultans are exhibited in the clothing section of the Topkapi Palace. If you like this style of clothing, you can find great kaftans in the market. You can also have a suitable kaftan made for yourself in some tailor shops in the bazaar. Handbags Handbags has a large share in the Grand Bazaar. You can see many shops selling colorful women's handbags. While some of them are domestic designs, most of them are imported. You can find replicas of many famous handbag brands in the bazaar. In general, the reflections of the bag fashion of that year can be seen in the bazaar. Exact replicas of the designs of the most famous brands can be purchased. Watches Watches are the best shopping item for men that can be found in the Grand Bazaar. While scarves, shawls and handbags for women adorn every place, few things appeal to men in the bazaar. Among them, watches that imitate the models of famous brands stand out. Jewelry, Turkish carpets and gold sold in the bazaar are generally original. However, it should be noted that most of the bags and watches are replicas. For this reason, it is necessary to be careful when purchasing these products. Turkish Delight Turkish Delight comes first among the things to buy in Istanbul. While you are wandering the streets of the city, you will be interested in the colorful shops selling Turkish Delight everywhere. In my opinion, the best place to buy Turkish Delight is Spice Bazaar. Because Spice Bazaar is more specialized in food. However, many beautiful shops have opened in the Grand Bazaar in recent years. In addition to these two bazaars, there are centuries-old Turkish delight shops in old districts such as Emanonu, Beyalu and Kadikoy, Asian side. Istanbul Grand Bazaar Opening Hours 2023 Grand Bazaar opening hours are between 9 o'clock in the morning and 1900 in the evening. From 1830 onwards, the lights in the bazaar start to turn off and the shops close one by one. The Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is closed to visitors on Sundays. The Grand Bazaar is not open on Sundays and is closed on religious holidays. If your visit to Istanbul coincides with times such as Ramadan Feast, Eid al-Fitr, or Sacrifice Feast, Eid al-Adha, you may not be able to visit the Grand Bazaar. Grand Bazaar Shopping Tour On the Grand Bazaar Shopping Tour, you can experience shopping like a local in the bazaar. On this tour, 
you can discover the hidden gems of the bazaar and see the bargaining techniques. This half-day guided tour is guaranteed by Get Your Guide, an international travel platform. The tour includes transportation and guidance in English. Things to do around Grand Bazaar in 2023. There are many things to do around the Grand Bazaar. These include visiting the centuries-old local public markets, scrubbing in the Turkish bath and tasting delicious street food. Mahmut Pasa Bazaar Mahmut Pasa Bazaar is a place where Istanbulites go to shop for cheap clothing. This is actually a slope connecting Bayazit and Emanonu and stretches between Grand Bazaar and Spice Bazaar. Mahmut Pasa Bazaar, locally known as Mahmut Pasa Yakusu, is a place where young girls go for dowry shopping. As this is a very old tradition in Istanbul, you can see many young girls shopping here with their mother. It is possible to shop for men's, women's and children's clothing at very affordable prices in Mahmut Pasa Bazaar. Since Turkey is a textile country, the quality of the clothes you will find here is good even though it is cheap. For those visiting Istanbul for the first time, finding the way in Mahmut Pasa Bazaar can be a bit difficult. Sembalitas Hammam Sembalitas Hammam is within walking distance of Gate 1 of the Bazaar on the Naru Osmaniye Mosque side. This Hammam is located right next to Sembalitas Tram Station. Sembalitas Hammam is among the best Turkish baths in Istanbul. Here you can relax and have a pleasant time after shopping in the bazaar. Scrubbing in the Turkish bath will make you feel refreshed. Dunerchi Zahin Usta Dunerchi Zahin Usta is one of the best street food places in Istanbul. As a famous donor shop in Istanbul, Zahin Usta is recommended by reputable travel guides such as Lonely Planet. When you think of street food in Istanbul, doner kebab, koft and kokorek come to mind first. The best doner kebab places in Istanbul are usually located in the old districts. You can find great street food in Bayazit, where the bazaar is located, and Emanonu by the sea, and Bayalu, near Taksim Square, on the opposite side of the Golden Horn. In conclusion, the Grand Bazaar is one of the must-see places in Istanbul. However, visiting the bazaar can be overwhelming after a long day of visiting historical monuments. It may take a long time to visit the bazaar, which has 67 streets and more than 3,000 shops. For this reason, if you make your itinerary accordingly, you can get the most out of your visit to the bazaar. The Grand Bazaar can be interesting even for people who don't like shopping. In fact, you can even go to the bazaar just to take pictures or examine the architectural features of the bazaar. Finally, you can take a guided tour of the Grand Bazaar and learn all the tricks of local shopping from your guide. Thanks for watching.